Hey everybody, it's Dwight with Bikes and Blades. As you can see, I've moved to a different location for today's video. Just kind of a change of pace, getting out of my usual office or garage uh, video locations just to do something a little bit different. I'm on my back patio and it's noon and it's already hot as heck out here, so I'm gonna try and keep this short, which is good anyway. And today I am getting back to something I haven't done in quite a while, which is reviewing a knife. Um, I've been doing mostly bicycle and uh, other kind of content and haven't reviewed any knives in a while. And I have two knives kind of backed up in the, the queue for reviews, maybe three, depending on how you count. Um, most recent one is this knife that I got for my birthday. It's a Boker Kensei Matsuno Takara liner lock. And I really love this knife. And I've seen Kensei Matsuno's custom knives on Blade HQ, but of course, you know, they're friction folders and they're not cheap. So when I saw that Boker was doing a production version of one of his designs, I thought that's fantastic because now the price is very reasonable and uh, I love the style. So this is what I'll show you today. Like I say, I got this for my birthday. I've already opened it so that the little seal on the package is already is already cut. But um, here's what we got. So it's a, the package has a nice little magnetic closure. Both the Boker knives that I've gotten, you know, in the past have, have been like this so it's a nice box and there is the knife in the box super cool anyway this is the carbon fiber version um, there are three versions of this knife available there's this carbon fiber one and then there's also they have a coca bolo and a g10 carbon fiber goes for about 113 the coca bolo is about 105 and then the g10 is uh, about 95 bucks and uh, it's just a really good looking knife it's a front flipper uh, very nicely finished out I'm hoping this shows up okay on the GoPro here um, some nice details like the jimping here has this nice kind of file work type thing I hope that shows up all right where it's uh, it's they've got kind of the jimping plus a little detail filing on the, the point of each of the uh, little grooves just super nice and it's a front flipper so here we get some flipping action here very nice uh, the reverse side of the blade has the Kensei Matsuno logo and then the show side or left side of the blade has the Boker plus logo it comes with this little leather uh, it's not really a lanyard I guess it's just like a little tassel and it's kind of cute, but that's something I'm actually probably going to take off the knife just because it's um, it's like craft store grade chrome tanned leather and it looks a little cheesy and it's just kind of, it doesn't really have a lot of, the, the way it drapes and everything is just kind of goofy. And it's not particularly useful as a lanyard either, so I'll probably take that off and replace it with some uh, paracord or something. But uh, really a cool looking knife. I love the style of this knife. The Warncliffe blade shape is really cool. It's very much the kind of thing that, that I like. I like the Warncliffe style, sheep's foot style. And, you know, because it's a front flipper, when it's open, there's nothing sticking out. There's no, no flipper tab, no burrs, nothing sticking out in your way. Um, in the hand, the jumping is in the right place. Um, you can get close to the blade. There's a little bit of a sharpening choil. And the way this knife is built, um, the blade is really close to the handle, so no issues with you know with with choking up on the on the knife. Just very nice. Now there is uh, there are a couple of things I'm going to say about this knife that that are to me downsides. One is it seems to have a little bit of uh, lock stick, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear this or not, but I'll put this close to the mic. It just kind of has a little bit of a, like a squeaky feeling when you unlock it. I'm still getting used to the front flipper. So it has a little bit of like a lock stick feeling. And it's, you can feel that the lock kind of scrapes on the, the lock face of the blade when you open it. And it's getting better with use, but um, still just kind of like a little bit, it feels a little bit scratchy, has kind of a funny feel to it, um, but not a huge detraction. The one thing that is uh, really kind of bad on this knife, a, a thing that's not great, is the, the pocket clip. It's beautiful. Uh, I hope you can see this okay. I don't know how good this is going to be on the close-up here. I'll have to, may have to shoot some other video. 
but the uh, the pocket clip is beautifully milled and shaped. It's a it's like a stainless steel pocket clip that's 3D milled. It really looks good. It's a gorgeous pocket clip and uh, fairly deep uh, carry. It's not it's not a fold over design, so it's not going to be you know all the way down in your pocket, but um, but good enough in that regard. What is bad about it though is that it's incredibly tight. This pocket clip is is just crazy tight. I'm going to stand up here and and hopefully. You'll be able to see this. I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit. So, trying to get this guy in my pocket, it's like it just will not slide over even the, th the thin edge of my shorts. It's just crazy. Um, it's insane how tight this pocket clip is. It's a very stout, heavy duty pocket clip, and they got a lot of tension on it, and it just if I got this on my pocket, I don't think I would be able to get it off. It's just crazy. So I'm going to have to disassemble this knife right off the bat and uh, clamp the pocket clip in a vise and bend it uh, to open it up a little bit because it's just unusable as it is. It's just insane. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking with that. Like I say, it's gorgeous. It looks great. But, geez. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I'll shoot some video of me trying to get that thing bent into a shape that's more usable. But otherwise, just, man, what a cool knife. Just really good looking. The carbon fiber is nice. The scales are, you know, fully contoured. It's not a flat carbon fiber scale. It actually has a curve to it. The, uh, the fit and finish, like on the back here, the spine backspacer, is really nicely finished off. There's like no perceptible edges between the liners and the backspacer. And again, I'm hoping this shows up okay. I may have to shoot some more close-up video later. I'm not sure how good this is going to show up on the GoPro up close. But that jimping is just beautiful. I like the little window in the blade through the Ricasso area there. They've got like a little, like a thumbnail nick, I guess. Not really useful as such, but just really pretty. Action is great. Uh, like I say, I'm still kind of getting used to the front flipper, just because, like for me, I'm used to traditional flippers. And when I when I open this, I find that that the other spur, the locking part of the of the mechanism, tends to come around and hit my index finger if I'm not careful. And I'm still getting used to the the action of that front flipper, but it seems to work well. Looking at my looking at my cheat sheet. The uh, overall length on this guy is 7 inches. Blade length is 3 and an eighth. Blade width, 0.875. Uh, I guess that's the height of the blade, really. Thickness, uh, 0.12, so it's just under an eighth of an inch thick. Um, it's D2 steel, flat grind, satin finish. Uh, handle is 4 inches. Handle width is 1 they have a typo here. It says one foot. It's one inch thick. Uh, I think that's the height of the handle. The actual thickness is considerably less. I'd say it's closer to, it's under half inch. It's more like three eighths or so um, handle thickness. Um, right hand tip up carry, liner lock, and uh, yeah, just a really cool knife. Made in China. I know that's kind of a bit of a, you know, sticking point these days, but yeah, it's like most things of the knife genre. It's made in China. Um, oh yeah, one final thing that I want to mention too. Back of the blade, the spine of the blade is really nicely radiused. And I, again, I'm gonna have to probably get some some close-up video of that indoors. But um, man, just what a what a pretty beautiful, nice design. It's nothing weird. It's not it's not a gas station knife. It's just very elegant, very nice, great shape. Looks traditional and modern at the same time. So, really excited about this. I've just got to fix that pocket clip. Anyway, uh, like I say, I haven't reviewed a knife in a while, but um, I'm hoping to get back out here. I got this. I've got a CGRB Gobi and also a Best Tech Barracuda that I have to review. So, um, hopefully I'll get those reviews posted here soon. 
And if you enjoy the, the knife content, please let me know. I, I never know quite what to focus on, bicycles, knives. I think I have a bit of both audiences, you know, in my subscribers. So uh, if you prefer one or the other, let me know, and I'll know what to focus on. But, uh, Boker Kensei Matsuno Takara.